Hi guys and welcome. In this lecture I'm going to show you how to set up AutoCAD for 2D drafting. We're going to set up the workspace, we're going to choose the right workspace for 2D drafting and then we're going to set up the dimensions or the units of AutoCAD. But first, the only thing that you're going to use when creating 2D shapes are the keyboard and the mouse. And when you use the mouse, you have like the right click, the left click, and the mouse wheel. When you click on the right click, you can see that there is some list has appeared to you. You have some options in here. And when you click on the right on the left click, you can see that there is some selection box has has been activated. You can see that there's some selection box has been activated. And then you can use the mouse wheel for zooming in and zooming out. So when you scroll up with the mouse wheel, you can see that you are zooming in. When you scroll down with the mouse wheel, you can see that you are zooming out. And this is very helpful. And now, going back to setting up the AutoCAD. First of all, you have to go to this button down here, which is called the Workspace Switching. And we're going to choose the Drafting and Annotation. If you are creating 3D models, you're going to choose 3D basics or modeling. But since we're creating just 2D shapes, we're going to choose the drafting and annotation. Now the workspace is set up. But we have to set up the dimensions and units as well. You have to type anywhere. Just type units. Press enter on the keyboard. I'm sorry, I guess I typed it wrong. Units. Enter. Okay. You can see that there is some kind of window has appeared to you. And it's called, and the title of this window is called Drawing Units. You can see that the length type are all in the decimal and the angle type are also in the decimal degrees as well. I saw some people using the architectural and engineering thing, but I always recommend the decimal thing. The precision of four, four digits, moving down to the units. As you can see here, I choose the millimeters. Some people choose the inches, the feet, the miles, some people choose the centimeters or meters as well. But I always choose the millimeters. You can choose the appropriate unit for your drawing. Click OK. And now the workspace and the dimensions are set up for the drafting. Now we have some other options. I always recommend you to activate them when you are drafting or doing some 2D drafting. You can go to something that is called the object snap. So when you click on the right arrow you can see some options from this list but what do we mean by endpoint midpoint center geometric center okay let's start from the endpoint for example let's assume that you want to create a line starting from the endpoint of this thing if this command is not activated, you can see that it is very hard to exactly select the endpoint of this line. Just let's try. For example, I did this and this, and the line has been created. But when you zoom in for this angle in here, you can see that I did not choose the exact endpoint. How can we solve this problem? We can solve this problem by 
activating the object snap and clicking on the endpoint option. Now, if you want to create a line from exactly the endpoint, let me show you. First of all, let me delete this line. You can click on it, press delete on the keyboard, and you can see that it's deleted. Now, click the line option or command. Go to here. You can see some. there is some kind of green box has been highlighted around the endpoint. When you click on it and create the line, you can see, just zoom in here, you can see that you chose the exactly endpoint of this line. This is very helpful. Now let's go to the other option. Let's go to this arrow. We have the midpoint. If you want to create a line or anything starting from the midpoint, you can see that there is some green triangle has been highlighted from the midpoint. When you click on it or anywhere near this point, but it must the angle had or I mean the triangle had to be highlighted. Click here, click here. You can see that it has been created from the midpoint. Okay, some other options. We have the center. Okay, if you want to create, for example, a circle, or any, or if you want to draw any line starting from the center of this circle, for example, like this, you can see that the center has been highlighted with a green circle. Click on it. Draw a line, very easy. And if you want to draw a circle from the exact point, you can also choose it. See? Very helpful. Some other options. The geometric center. And by this one, I mean the center of any shape beside the circle. So, if you want to create a line from this center, very easy. Draw a circle also, also very easy. Now, let's see some other options. We have the node one, we have the quadrant. Activate the quadrant, let's see what you mean by this. If you want to draw a line from the quadrants of the circle, you can choose this option. The line again, you can see from this quadrant, from this, 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 all the four quadrants of the circle, you can choose this feature. Now we have some other options also. We have the intersection. The intersection we mean the intersection of these points or the intersection of a circle with a line see now the intersection has appeared for you click on it very easy some other options let's see extension if you want to draw a line that extends at the same angle of any line you can choose this command, for example, like this. And now, as you can see, there's some green line is highlighted alongside the original line. Can you see this line? And that means that you are creating this line in the same angle as the original line. See? This is the, the new one, and this is the original one. But they all look the same, in the same angle. We have some other options as well. We have intersection, perpendicular, tangent, nearest. There's a lot of options, but I always recommend you to only activate four to five options because it's going to be very confusing when a lot of circles and triangles, intersections appear to you on the drawing, 
and some box in here, some circle here, X here, it's going to be very confusing. So I always recommend to only activate the end point, midpoint, center, remove this, remove this, and this, and this. We have like five things checked, check, 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 and check. I only recommend you to check these options from this list. So, these options, as I told you, are, are very helpful and they're going to be very useful when you create drawings and you want to be very fast as well. And that's it for this navigation. Thanks.